Okay, and his feet, I generally like to be very rounded because they're going to be the structure that holds him up. So I like him rounded all the way around from the tip of his toes to the top of his leg. Okay, when it comes to where am I gonna put this leg? I look at that circle there on the bottom and that's usually my go-to judge, my go-to marker right there. So I'll put, I'll line the foot up right with that hole, right next to that hole. Okay, then I will come up and I will look at how that leg fits on the bunny. And that looks like it suits pretty well. So I will find where my yarn is attached. I want that yarn marker line. See it right here, the yarn marker tail line. I want that to be faced in the middle. Face it in the middle. Insert. And with that lined up, I'm just gonna attach it to the body. I'm gonna sew it onto the body. You're gonna watch the leg though, make sure it doesn't shift. Because if it shifts, then it'll end up being closer to the back of the body or closer to the front of the body. And if you don't like how it shifted, just go ahead and remove your yarn needle from your yarn, undo some stitches and realign it how you want it to look. Cool, okay, so I've gone around one time. I will look at my work. It's cool how you can like bend it how you want it to look out more in more shuffle around shuffle around the stuffing a little bit am i happy with that i am happy with that so i have a lot more yarn i'm going to go around one more time to strengthen that bond that stitch when i'm done I'm going to tie that knot and there it goes perfect and last foot oh my goodness okay so when attaching make sure that that line where we had our marker tail go up it's going to face the middle of the body we align up with that circle spot of the body make it sure everything's in line looks great then I come up yes that's where I want it to start and if you notice these are a lot more stretched out these are a lot more squished in it's because once I sew this in everything will relax down and then they'll be the same they'll be the same length but for now because I'm doing all the squishing it looks shorter and I think that is the perfect spot I want it to be at so Up. I'll sometimes even look and see, okay, this leg right here, it ended at this round here. So I'll follow that round. Be like, oh, okay, that leg is going to fall right in line there. Awesome. Okay, I've made it all the way around once. Now I inspect it. Looks good. Check it out. Am I happy with the placement? I am. I'm happy with the placement. Looks good. Do I have enough yarn to go around one more time? No, I do not. So I'm going to go ahead and tie off.
cool. Let's go ahead and attach the tail. So looking at the side that has, where are you? It blends in so well. Oh, there they are right there. Okay, so you get to pick a side. What side do you want to be the front? If your marker tail, I put my marker tail here, which ended up having it in line with the arm and the leg, which just made it blend in and disappear, which is why I was like, where is it? If your marker tail line is in the middle of one side, I would put your floppy tail on that side to cover it up. But because my tail is here in line here and already covered up in its own way, I get to choose. Do I want to put my tail on this side or do I want to put my tail on this side? Usually I'll go, I'll look this way and I'll be like, this side looks more of a belly. He has a little bit of a belly, which is cute. And his arms are kind of going this way, which looks like a hug. So I'm going to put his tail on this side. How you do that? You go ahead and grab your needle. Grab just one. Look to see where do you want that tail to be. I'll go right there, right in the middle. Okay, so then I'll say, where is this coming out of? It's coming out right there, so I can attach. Attach right here. Take the other one that did not go through the work. And go the reverse. So it looks like this. Pull it tight. The whole time I'm just keeping in mind who is going to be receiving this toy, this stuffed animal? Who is going to be playing with this stuffed animal? And I want to make it as strong as I can for as much longevity as I can. Okay. Not like that. And then it just tightens right in there. Ugh. And now what I want to do to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere is I'm going to make these yarn strands go through the stuffing again to get just strong tied into the stuffing that way. Guys, the last thing we have to do is put button eyes on. That's it. We're so close. Yay. All right, when it comes to your buttons, you need three buttons. You need two eyes, obviously, and a nose. The buttons that I am using, those button holes are big enough. I have a yarn needle or a tapestry needle that has an eye thin enough to go through that hole in my button. If your buttons, button holes are too small for your tapestry needle, your yarn needle to go through, you will need to use a regular needle and thread to attach your buttons onto the face of your bunny. So because I don't need those things, I didn't pull out those materials, but if you do, just be aware, you'll need those materials. I use black yarn for my button eyes, that way, when I put the yarn through the eyes, you can't see the holes of the button anymore. See how the black just kind of blends in with the button. Whereas if I were to use say the same color as the bunny itself, how that color would just stick out of the button. You can do that, but I just think it looks better, better with the black. Okay, I start by placement. Be mindful that you still have a button for a nose that you want to attach. I usually look at the ears and I want my buttons to be usually in line with the far side of the ears. This ear, the outside of the ear, the button aligned with the outside of this ear. 
okay? I usually like it higher up on the face too. This is where you can also play, make it your own. Do you want your face to be lower on the bunny and give it a giant forehead? Do you want the face to be higher? Do you want it to be really spread out? Do you want it to be really narrow? Have fun with this. This is totally personalized to however you want it to be. So my button has four holes, so I'll cross. And then I'll come up the back, just in the next row down. Okay. Then I'll come through that hole. Cross to that hole. So I made that crisscross look in my button. Pull that tight, pull this tight. Make sure that the yarn will not show outside of my button. And I'm going to want to attach right here. That way it stays concealed underneath my button. And I want it to come out that same hole that I started with. Just like that. Okay. There is ah number one. Cut it off. Ah number two. In line with eye number one, in line with the outside of the ear. Keep the alignment. That one. You don't even have to go in a space, you can literally go in the middle of a strand of yarn to attach. Cross. In line, in line. Through that one. Then my last hole, I will bring the needle back through that same hole that I started. Perfect. Pull everything tight. Great. Got my two eyes. I am ready for my nose. Note that I have not tied this off and hid them yet. I'm leaving them out. Okay, I ran out of yarn, so I just need a little more yarn for my last button. When it comes to the button, for the nose, find the center between the two eyes and go down. So literally, this these buttons stop at this row and that is where this button will, the top of that button will begin. Perfect. Okay, now we will look at our buttons. We haven't sealed anything. We look at each button. We confirm that's where we want our buttons to go. Grab your fabric glue. I know me with my fabric glue, but what I noticed, okay, if you lift the button up, put just a small amount of glue on the bottom of the button. Okay. Pull that tight. Wipe away any of the excess glue that you can see on the outside. Let it set there for a, for a second. Next button.
sometimes work as it gets older, it gets looser and then the buttons do start to separate from the work and it is just not as attractive. It's the work just looks old and worn and by doing this, those buttons aren't going anywhere guys. They are stuck. I trimmed the extra little bits and take my crochet hook come in through that same hole grab the yarn bits and pull them through and Grab all these bits. Okay. And there you are. Congratulations. I'd like to introduce you to your bunny. He is stinking cute. I'm so excited. I hope you love him. Hi. Did you have fun? I really hope you did. He turned out so cute. Oh my gosh. I hope you love him. Make lots of them. They are a favorite among all the kids. Like I said, both of my kids have one. I've made one for countless friends and family. Ask your questions in the comments. If you do have a question, make sure you read through the comments to make sure your question hasn't already been answered. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really hope that you had fun making your little crocheted stuffed bunny. If you did, please give me a like. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have so many more videos coming and you're not going to want to miss out. Make sure you hit that bell. That way you get a notification every time my video goes live. I air a video every Tuesday and every Friday, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I had a great time with you. I will see you with my next video. Bye.